Welcome back, everybody. So today we're going to be learning how to program the Bofeng UV 5G Plus handheld GMS radio. If you're a beginner to programming these kinds of radios, this is going to be the video for you. So let's get started. So what I want to do is just go over the various buttons that are available on the radio, starting with the A slash B button in the very middle. It's a blue button with white lettering. And this is what's going to let you select between the top display and the bottom display on the screen for the radio. So for example, the top screen can have a frequency programmed in and the bottom screen can have a GRMS channel selected, or you can have two frequencies or two channels or any combination of the two. And it also lets you listen to both at the same time. So if we select AB, you can notice that the main label has changed to the top. And when I push it again, main has selected the bottom. And that's what lets you know what screen you are currently on. So again, we'll hit main to go back to the top. Above the AB button is the VFO slash MR button. This button lets you select between frequency mode and channel mode, the two main operating modes of the GRMS radio. So when we push this button, you'll notice on the right hand side, 011, which is channel 11, is gonna be changed to VFO. And when VFO is displayed, that's how you are, are indicated that you are in frequency operation mode. And if you push it again, now you're going into channel mode. So this is what lets you select between frequency mode and channel mode. Now below the A slash B button is the menu button. So this button is what lets you get into the menu. You just push it and you are presented with a menu. Next to it is the up and down arrows. You can select up to go scroll through the menu options or down to go through the menu options. To the right of that is going to be your back button and you simply hit this to get out of the uh, main menu or to go back a menu option. Now, while you are in the main screen here, you can use the up and down arrows to select different channels. So you notice here I'm going up channels, so 14, 15, 16, and then down arrow goes down through the channels. Now, if we select frequency mode by pushing the frequency mode channel mode button, VFO slash MR, if we use the up and down, it's gonna scroll through the frequencies up and down. Now, moving along with a couple extra buttons that we wanna know about, over here on the right-hand side, we have the asterisk with a key, a blue key. So we're gonna to refer to the blue lettering or the blue symbols as icons. So this is going to be uh, what you're gonna to use to lock your settings. So if you get your radio set up exactly how you want it, and maybe you put it in a chest rig, or you don't wanna risk uh, accidentally pushing buttons, you can hold this down and it will lock the radio. And a little symbol will show up by the battery to let you know that it's locked. And then you can just hold it down again to unlock the radio. So the button below the asterisk is the zero key or the icon labeled as SQL. And this button is what's gonna let you get into weather mode on this, which is gonna let you listen to and scan for uh, NOAA weather and emergency frequencies. And we're gonna get into that towards the end of the video. And then below the zero is the pound symbol. And the icon on that looks like maybe a backwards lightning bolt or the letter Z. And this is a button that you're gonna hold down in order to enable scanning depending on the different modes that you're in. So for example, if we held that down right now, it would just start scanning the frequencies. And you can see that in the top display that it's just going through the various frequencies. And then we can hold that button again and it'll stop. And of course, if we switch to channel mode and we hold down scan, then it's gonna start scanning through the different channels that you have in this radio, including any that we uh, may custom configure later in this video. And then you simply hold down the scanning icon again or the pound symbol again and the scanning stops. Now what we're gonna do is just go through the menu system and show you how to use the menu system and how to make changes within the radio. And what we're gonna do is get rid of the voice that has uh, an audible voice with the radio. When you navigate through various menu options and do various things, it'll actually speak back to you in an audible uh, voice. And then there's also kind of a beep that happens when you push the keys. And so we wanna get rid of the beep and we're gonna get rid of the voice. So here's an example, when I push menu, menu. you can see that it actually spoke menu back to me. And when I hit the back button, you can hear the beep from the, the key from the back button. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the menu, menu. 
And then we're gonna go into option number 17. So we're gonna scroll until we get to option number 17, which is gonna be the voice option. And you can hear that beeping. And we're gonna be changing that as well after this setting. So you can see here now we are on voice. Now to change this to off, we hit the menu again, and then we use the up arrow. Now you can see off is blinking. And now we're gonna hit menu one more time. Confirm. And now that setting has been changed. Now we can hit the back button to go back to your main screen. Or you could have gone to another menu option and changed um, another uh, setting on the, on the menu if you wanted to as well. Now we're gonna get rid of the keypad beep. So we're gonna hit menu again. And we're gonna scroll down to option or menu number eight. Menu item number eight. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit menu again. And we're gonna use the up arrow to select off. Again, the blinking option is the option that you're gonna be setting. And then hit menu again. Notice this time we didn't get that feedback saying menu changed or whatever it was before. Now we can hit the back button and now our buttons don't make any more beep sounds. And so that's the basic way that the menu works. It's pretty simple. You use the menu key, and then you find the menu option that you want. You hit the menu. The menu is kind of the select key uh, as well as the menu key, right? Um, and so that's basically it for just basic uh, menu navigation and operation. Now what we're gonna do is actually program in a custom frequency and then we're gonna add that frequency to a custom channel. And we're gonna go ahead and pick channel number 40. That way it's way far away from any of the pre-programmed GRMS channels on this radio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the bottom bank or the bottom display. So we're gonna hit the AB button and you notice that the main uh, label has changed. And then we're gonna go into frequency mode. Cause again, right now we're in channel mode, which means when we type on the keypad, it's only going to uh, reflect uh, changes as far as channels go, but we wanna make uh, changes as it's related to frequency. So we're gonna go ahead and go into frequency mode and we're gonna push the VFO MR button. And you can see VFO uh, lets us confirm that we're actually in frequency mode. And now what we can do is we can type in the frequency for, let's just say my sheriff's office, okay? So our, my sheriff's department is 460. 0.400000. All right, so now we have my sheriff's department programmed into this radio. Now what we can do is add this to a custom channel, and that's gonna be channel 40. So you're gonna hit menu, and you're gonna go to option, or menu item number 30. So we're gonna go all the way up to 30. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit the menu option, right? And now you can see our options are blinking. So we wanna scroll down with the down button all the way down to 40. Oops, make sure 40, make sure the channel that you want is the one that's flashing and then hit menu again. And we have now added 460.4000 to channel 40. Now we can hit the back button and now what we can do is we can actually go to, uh, back to channel mode, right? Hit channel mode, and you'll see 040 is what is um, uh, displayed there when we're in channel mode. Now, if I hit the down arrow button on this, it's gonna go right to 30, right? Because it only has channels one through 30, which are the default GRMS channels. And then anything after 30 are gonna be custom channels. And of course, all we programmed is channel 40. So when I go up, it's just gonna go to the next channel that we've programmed in. Uh, so at this point, we can actually hit the scan button, which is the pound symbol, right? Hold that down, and it will scan through all the GRMS channels. And it'll also uh, pick up, <laughs> get a little feedback here. We'll go ahead and bypass that one, but it'll scan also the custom channel that we just programmed in there, right? And so that's how you can add custom frequencies uh, to custom channels, and that way you can be scanning GRMS as well as maybe your fire EMS, emergency channels, and things like that. So now what we can do is uh, go over the weather mode on this. So weather mode is super simple. What we're gonna do is just turn off scanning first. I'm gonna hold the pound symbol down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the zero key down. So zero as the icon SQL on it. 
We're gonna go ahead and hold that. And that's gonna open up the weather mode on this radio. And you can tell you're in weather mode because there's a picture of a cloud with the sun sticking out. And so there are several pre-programmed NOAA weather and emergency frequencies programmed into this. And of course you can use the up button to go through them all, right? Up and down, just like anything else. Or again, you can hit the scanning button, which is that pound symbol. So you hold that down and it'll start scanning through the various NOAA weather channels until it picks one up. And so that's how you operate weather mode on this radio. It's super simple. Now let's just say, um, actually to get out of this, one more thing here, to get out of this, you're gonna hold the zero button down to get out of that, and now we're just back on the main screen again. Now let's say you've been playing around with various settings and maybe by accident you made a setting and you're not sure what setting it was and it messed up your radio and it's not working right. Well, what you can do is you can factory reset the radio. So the way you factory reset the radio is you go to the main screen, which is what we're on now, you hit the menu button and you scroll all the way until you find that reset option. And I believe that is gonna be number 42. Let's see here, 41, 42. Then you hit the menu option again, go down to all, make sure all is blinking, and then you hit the menu option again. Now I'm not gonna do it here because I don't wanna factory reset it, but at this point it's saying, are you sure to reset? If you hit menu again, then it's gonna factory reset your uh, radio to what it was when you first purchased it and first pulled it out of the box. And so that's how you can do a hard reset on your radio. Super helpful. Sometimes I do this a couple times a year, just kind of put some fresh settings into the radio. And of course, if you wanna cancel, you can just hit that back button and it'll get you out of there. So that's the wrap on the basics to programming the UV 5G+. Plus. If you're interested in more advanced features such as using repeaters or programming privacy codes, you're gonna wanna check out the description of this video because that's where I have links to other training material on communications. And with that, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next one.